Today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. I am Julie Hankinson, and this is the view out my window. Today, I would like to start out and talk about a really cool um, small business I saw. And the gentleman's name is Mac, M-A-C-K, Provisions, and you can find him at macprovisions.com. And I will include that in the description box. Um, he, this gentleman, hand crafts um, wallets and keychains and um, billfolds and little card carriers, um, all out of used baseball gloves. He also relaces baseball gloves. So if you have a baseball glove that you want to have relaced, uh, this gentleman um, does that. And he does it fairly inexpensively. I was really impressed with his prices. Um, so uh, there's something for everyone as far as um, cost goes and uh, price-wise, that is. And... He is a one-man shop. He is doing all of the lacing himself. He will work with you to um, uh, use a glove from one of your favorite teams. Uh, this gentleman has just really got a serious, uh, awesome niche product. So if you have someone who really adores baseball or that soft warning uh, feel of a baseball glove. He has some really nice um, products that I think uh, most any baseball fan would enjoy carrying. And even as, you know, a woman, I saw uh, a couple of uh, products that I personally will be purchasing because I found them um, really appealing. So I will leave you with that um, and definitely uh, let's sm um, support the small businesses. Uh, like I said, this is a one-man shop and, um, you know, we could, I wish, all be able to work out of our garage but he is a craftsman and he is providing beautiful products um, that we can all appreciate and also use for many years to come uh, these are not just throwaways they are um, repurposed from old baseball gloves and just each one is unique and different. And you can either choose a random glove, glove or you can choose, uh, do pick and choose. So I think that is really a neat feature. And um, speaking of, you know, small businesses, um, another small business that I ordered from this morning was um, they are uh, hydroponic uh, plants um, for herbal. Um, you know, there's basil and there's mint. And, um, but these are made out of repurposed glass. So they melt the glass and makes pretty uh, colored glass that you then can put in your window seal or, um, and just grow herbs uh, for your kitchen counter. So I think that there are lots of um, crafts and crafty people who are making some beautiful products that we, um, you know, if we have a couple of dollars, we can um, reset our new normal and, um, you know, reuse materials that are out there so it's the old reuse repurpose and recycle get into the r's here 
And um, so that's what I've been thinking about today is, is um, supporting small businesses that are going online um, because, of course, they can't sell through normal channels any longer. And while we can't save the world, we can support, you know, a few um, businesses here and there uh, with our dollars. Uh, because I did read, uh, what was it, a report, was it uh, for from J.P. Morgan Chase, that um, they were saying that purchases had declined by 36% last month. I personally think that's very smart. You know, if we're in a recession or if you're thinking about the possibility of getting laid off, of course you're going to cut your expenses. Um, and 36% is a fairly significant drop in spending. And again, I think that's very wise um, of anybody to really think about how they're spending their dollars during this time. Because I think we all need to be very careful. And mostly for me, if it's not for food, um, I'm not spending on it. But today I am, like I said, I did buy the hydroponic uh, recycled glass um, set for uh, because that was really attractive and I've been thinking about growing my own food um, and so this is me starting small <laughs> I'm not ready to repurpose my balcony into a hydroponic garden here yet um, but I'm not thinking that that's a bad thing considering considering all the weird weather we've all been having uh, which has just really gotten bizarre. The frosts in Europe, uh, we've got locusts that are swarming. We've got, um, even in the States, we've got all this bizarre snow and, and tornadoes and everything else going on. So, um, you know, I would encourage everyone to think about planting a garden um, if they have that capability, um, or um, doing a little hydroponic gardening in your window seal or on your balcony. And uh, the um, um, Florida has some really great little hydroponic um, lettuce growing uh, tutorials on uh, YouTube which, um, you know, they um, actually show how to have year-round lettuce production. Uh, personally, I'm not that much into massive amounts of lettuce. A uh, few lettuce leaves are, are really great, but um, I've also seen some really nice five-gallon buckets that have been... Um, repurposed into growing potatoes. Now that I might do because I do like my potatoes. And uh, again, let me just throw out, if you like rice, you really should stock up now because this has been a really bad year for, um, for rice, uh, getting that planted and um, the countries that do grow rice are sort of keeping it in country um, and not exporting it because they really didn't have a great harvest. So, um, you know, just FYI on the food, uh, setting up your own garden, even if it's a small starter garden, is a great idea. Like me, just trying to get your feet wet, especially if, like me, you have a black thumb. Uh, definitely not a green thumb here. Um, but um, that's why I figure, uh, let's, let's try the basil and the mint, because mint would be really good in um, water. Um, I was thinking, uh, you know, adding it into the water bottle would be nice. Of course, you can also make um, 
alcoholic drinks with mint, you know, mint julep, whatever. <laughs> but um, that would definitely help you with uh, your alcohol problem right now. Uh, but anyway, I'll leave you with that. Um, just getting a little creative today, hopefully. Um, anticipating the food shortages um, that we are going to be experiencing. Uh, again, um, highly recommending, um, you know, that you consider, um, you know, stocking up on uh, your favorite vegetables or um, whatever now since we seem to be um, moving into a period of um, even meat shortages. Um, whether that's temporary or long-term, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I would definitely um, secure some if that's what you like uh, at this time. Um, but I'll leave it at that. And we'll see you all here tomorrow night. And I appreciate everyone who has liked and uh, subscribed uh, because that really encourages me to keep going. Um, truthfully, I did not anticipate any of this whenever I started um, my view out uh, my window um, this year. And this has just evolved, and, um, and my commitment was actually to just post every day. And I'm very glad that I made this commitment. Um, so we'll see you all here tomorrow night. And like I said, I appreciate comments and any encouragement I can get. Good night.